G'day YouTube, this is just a short review or look at the latest release of the Solus OS operating system. Now uh, Solus is actually quite the solo project, it's built from scratch for pretty much everything, everything uh, that is except for the kernel. So uh, for example we start off, it's actually only got a 64-bit operating system version, a variety there, so no 32-bits there, which is a bit of a shame. But having a look here, it's uh, quite different to your typical uh, Linux distribution. You couldn't even tell just straight off the bat or at a glance what version or what desktop this is. It's actually the, the in-house build budgie desktop. And if we uh, actually were to look at the window manager itself, it's quite uh, it's quite unique in its own right as well. Quite clear and simple to use as well. Uh, and uh, another thing about this release is it's actually, it's actually a rolling release, so uh, it's just always ongoing. There's no particular update every six months. It's just ongoing, always and always. And in fact, if we have a look at uh, what version Solus is currently considered to be at. We'll uh, just run a quick command and it's version 1.4, so not something that it advertises too strongly though with that uh, updating and rolling release mechanism there. Now, so we've seen the desktop, we've seen the uh, the window manager, well, let's have a few little bits and pieces of looks at what applications we have. So accessories, pretty much the standard stuff there, you've got a few office applications, all the Libras there, nothing that's too fascinating there. What One thing we will check is the terminal, so just to see what uh, Linux distribution or kernel version we have right now. So 4.9, not too bad for a rolling release, uh, I think uh, we've had Ubuntu which is now 4.10, but uh, it's fairly up to date in terms of what uh, does release with the kernel there as well. We'll also have a look at the software center here. So it's quite a cool little uh, unique software center. We can see home, things that we might want to get. Uh, we can see everything related to updates that are required, security and otherwise. Uh, let's see what's installed, third-party applications that me where you might want to install, give that a red hot go there or maybe later. Uh, things we can want to search for and uh, settings as well. So all in all, a really cool, neat little tight distribution here, Solus OS rolling release. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do a quick video on this one. It's, uh, it's, it's quite Apple-esque, I guess, in its own way. But um, yeah, nice and clean and clear, this one. So cheers, guys. Just a quick video there. Hope you've enjoyed.